If you ask anyone who knows even a little about the space industry what the biggest failure is, they'll probably say Boeing Starliner. Boeing promised to deliver the best crew capsule ever made, took billions from NASA, and ended up delivering one of the most disappointing spacecraft in modern history. And the worst part? It's still not getting any better. In this video, we'll look into what went wrong and why things keep going downhill. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more space updates. The story starts back in 2014, when NASA gave Boeing a $4.2 billion contract to build the Starliner spacecraft. At that time, NASA was in a difficult position. The space shuttle program had ended in 2011 after the Columbia disaster, and the U.S. no longer had any vehicle to send astronauts into orbit. For several years, NASA had to buy seats on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft just to reach the International Space Station. Each seat cost around $80 million, and as tensions grew between the U.S. and Russia, that arrangement became increasingly risky. To fix this, NASA started the Commercial Crew Program. When it came time to pick which companies to fund, NASA chose two, Boeing and SpaceX. SpaceX received $2.6 billion, and Boeing received $4.2 billion. Boeing got more money mainly because NASA trusted them more. Boeing had decades of experience building spacecrafts and rockets, including work on the Apollo program, the Space Shuttle, and the ISS modules. SpaceX, on the other hand, was still new and unproven. In 2014, they had only been flying Falcon 9 rockets for a few years. Boeing promised to complete the spacecraft and start flying astronauts by 2017. The capsule was designed to carry up to seven astronauts and launch on top of an Atlas V rocket made by United Launch Alliance. It would land on solid ground using parachutes and airbags instead of splashing down in the ocean like SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Back then, almost everyone expected Boeing to win the race. But things didn't go as planned. Boeing's work process was slow and filled with management problems. They had layers of approval and oversight that delayed progress, and testing took longer than expected. SpaceX, on the other hand, was fast and flexible. They kept launching, testing, and improving with every flight. By the time SpaceX launched its first crewed Dragon mission in 2020, Boeing still hadn't completed a successful uncrewed test flight. That was a huge embarrassment. NASA had paid Boeing $1.6 billion more than SpaceX, yet SpaceX was already safely flying astronauts to the International Space Station while Boeing was still fixing basic issues. Starliner's first big test came in December 2019. It was supposed to be a simple, uncrewed flight to the ISS. But right after launch, things went wrong. A software glitch made the spacecraft think it was in a different phase of flight, causing it to burn too much fuel too early. It missed its chance to reach the ISS and had to come back home early. After more than two years of delays, Boeing tried again in May 2022. This time, Starliner finally reached the ISS, but even then, it wasn't perfect. Two thrusters failed during flight, and engineers found several smaller issues after the mission. It was a success on paper, but behind the scenes, Boeing still had a lot to fix before it could carry people. Then came the real test, the first crewed flight in June 2024. NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore were supposed to spend about a week at the ISS and return safely. Instead, Starliner ran into one problem after another. Five of its 28 small thrusters failed during docking. Engineers also discovered multiple helium leaks in the propulsion system. And those issues weren't small. Helium is what pressurizes the engines and controls maneuvers. Without it, the spacecraft can't safely return. NASA and Boeing tried to downplay the situation at first, but as engineers dug deeper, the problems looked worse. The thruster failures were traced to overheating, and the helium leaks turned out to be more widespread than expected. By late 2024, NASA decided it was too risky to bring the astronauts home in Starliner. So instead, they returned on a SpaceX Crew Dragon, the very spacecraft Boeing was supposed to compete against. Starliner came back empty, 
At that point, Starliner wasn't just delayed, it was a full-blown embarrassment. The astronauts had to stay in space months longer than planned, and the public trust in Boeing's space division dropped to an all-time low. By 2025, Boeing had already spent over $2 billion more than expected trying to fix the program. Meanwhile, SpaceX was launching Crew Dragon missions back-to-back -back without major issues. What's confusing about all of this is that NASA still hasn't canceled its contract with Boeing, even after so many failures and delays. Boeing and NASA keep saying they're testing and planning another crewed flight around early 2026, but at this point it's hard to believe. The truth is, if this were any other company, NASA would have canceled the contract a long time ago. Boeing has missed deadlines for nearly a decade and spent billions of dollars fixing problems that shouldn't have existed in the first place, yet NASA still keeps giving them chances. One big reason is politics and lobbying. Boeing spends millions every year on lobbying the government and has deep connections in Washington. That influence helps them survive in situations that would have ended smaller companies. NASA keeps defending the partnership, saying they still believe Boeing can deliver, even though there's no clear timeline for when that will happen. What makes this even more frustrating is that NASA has been much tougher on other companies like SpaceX. For example, back in 2021, SpaceX won a multi-billion dollar contract to build its lunar lander for the Artemis mission, using its giant Starship system. Then, in late 2025, NASA announced it was reopening that contract, essentially saying SpaceX might lose it, because SpaceX is behind schedule. NASA's administrator has publicly said that because SpaceX is behind schedule, NASA is opening up competition again for that same moon landing contract. He specifically named Blue Origin as a possible competitor. Blue Origin is nowhere close. Their blue moon lander hasn't flown yet. And the rocket that's supposed to launch it, the new Glenn, still hasn't reached orbit. Yet NASA says SpaceX is behind schedule. It doesn't make much sense. SpaceX has done 11 launches with Starship, recovered massive amounts of data, and made steady improvements. They're building new production lines for the Raptor 4 engines and preparing for crewed flight tests. But NASA is treating them like they're not progressing fast enough. And so basically, NASA is pulling back from SpaceX, a company that's been delivering results while keeping Boeing's failing Starliner contract alive after years of problems. That's what makes this whole situation so strange. Meanwhile, NASA's own rocket, the Space Launch System, or SLS, is turning into a complete disaster. The rocket uses leftover parts from the Space Shuttle era, including the same RS-25 engines and solid rocket boosters. Those engines were designed in the 1970s, and NASA decided to reuse them instead of developing something new. The problem is, they're not reusable. Each engine costs around $100 million and can only fly once. That alone makes every SLS launch extremely expensive. When NASA first announced SLS back in 2011, the total cost was expected to be around $10 billion. Now, it's blown past $30 billion, and each individual launch is estimated to cost over $2 billion. That's more than 10 times the price of a single Starship launch, even though Starship can carry far more payload and be reused multiple times. Looking at all of this, many people believe this decision is more political than technical. Boeing and Blue Origin have strong government ties and spend millions on lobbying each year, while SpaceX tends to challenge NASA's old ways of doing things. That could be why NASA keeps showing leniency to Boeing, despite Starliner's constant problems, but turns around and pressures SpaceX even after major success. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.